aerobic versus anaerobic respiration so what's the major difference the major difference is whether it is based on oxygen presence of oxygen or absence of oxygen so aerobic respiration is a respiration which involves oxygen the most important thing that you need to keep into mind now aerobic respiration the organisms that use oxygen are known as aerobes and this process occurs in mostly in plants and animals and it occurs in mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell now what happens in the process of aerobic respiration in the process of aerobic respiration glucose and oxygen react to form carbon dioxide water and provide energy the proportion of energy provided by the aerobic respiration is much higher than that provided by the anaerobic respiration which is due to the absence of oxygen now anaerobic respiration which is in the absence of oxygen can take place in two ways one is within the plants and the other is in the animals in the plants usually glucose is broken down into ethyl alcohol which we also call as ethanol carbon dioxide and energy as mentioned before the energy produced by the anaerobic respiration is less as compared to that by the aerobic respiration the organisms that have the capability to produce energy without oxygen are known as anaerobes good example of anaerobe is yeast which can lead to fermentation so the process of fermentation is a process which is based on anaerobic respiration besides yeast bacteria and parasitic flatworms are another good example so the anaerobic respiration as mentioned is a process where glucose is broken down into ethyl alcohol however in animals there is another process where the glucose is broken down into lactic acid and if there is shortage of muscles a uh, shortage of oxygen in the muscles it can lead to muscle cramps now what is the remedy to relieve this muscle cramp some of the good remedies suggest massaging or hot bath and this increases the blood circulation and oxygen supply to the muscles and gets rid of helps you get rid of the muscle cramps so glucose if it is broken down into lactic acid due to shortage of oxygen we call this as a process which is anaerobic respiration now sometimes oxidation of uh, the extra lactic acid occurs and that is due to the extra oxygen which is available to us and this ultimately helps us to uh, get rid of the muscle cramps now what are the basic differences there are six major differences that we would cite here the first major difference as discussed before is aerobic respiration occurs in presence of oxygen and therefore produces more energy in compared to anaerobic respiration which is in the absence of oxygen and generates less energy anaerobic respiration is done by organisms which are known as anaerobes however the aerobic respiration is done by organisms which are known as aerobes the next important difference is aerobic respiration takes place in the powerhouse of the cell which is mitochondria however anaerobic respiration does not require mitochondria it occurs in yeast bacteria and parasitic flatworms and fermentation is one of the common processes through which we say anaerobic respiration is explained and then aerobic respiration takes place in the plants as well as animal the next major difference is in the aerobic respiration glucose is completely oxidized into carbon dioxide water and energy however in the anaerobic respiration glucose is incompletely or uh, Uh, oxidized and in plants it lead to formation of ethyl alcohol in animals it can lead to formation of lactic acid as the end product so two end products through separate reactions in anaerobic uh, uh, anaerobic re respiration and those are ethyl alcohol and lactic acid very very important to know and this was some of the major differences that we studied between aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration